Hey, what's good? Coach Colin Castell here with Shop Mechanics Basketball. And today, we're going to teach you James Harden's signature bait between the legs crossover. This video is brought to you by our guys over at HoopDeals.com, the hottest place to get the best deals on all your basketball merchandise. And what they're going to do for you guys is give you a free James Harden case. All you got to do is cover the shipping costs. Quantities are limited, so click the link in the description down below to get yours today. All right, James Harden is a master at baiting people with a slow between the legs first so he can explode by them with a crossover. A lot of times breaking ankles, getting a great look at the hoop. So today what we're going to do is we're going to break down that move, teach you how to use it yourself, and then also give you a drill to kind of work on it so you can perfect it. Now, before we jump into it, though, I want to give you free access to my Get Bucket Scoring Challenge. All you got to do is click the top link in the description down below. And basically what this is going to do is it's a free scoring workout that's going to help you actually score more points in real game situations. So hopefully we can increase your scoring average and get you more playing time. So click the top link in the description down below and check that out, and it's 100% free. Now, with James Harden, basically the whole idea to this bait between the legs crossover is we're trying to set our defender up with kind of a slow between the legs first, right? A lot of times we see guys and they kind of, every time they put the ball between their legs, they're in that attack mode and they're always going fast the whole time. But one thing that makes James Harden so effective is that he actually sometimes does it slower and kind of lulls them to sleep a little bit and then the second move is fast to go by them. So the whole key what we're going to do here is we're going to push the ball from the inside to the outside of the floor between our legs but we're gonna more pick our leg off of the ground and keep our chest up, right? So instead of being an attack between the legs, I'm going to go slow with my foot off the ground, chest up. So hopefully what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull my defender out of their stance just a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to plant like I'm going the same direction. And then I'm going to whip the crossover opposite. So it's kind of a setup move, right? It's a bait. I'm gonna slow and then plant, boom, push opposite. The whole key here is when we're moving from slow to fast, we want to load that leg and explode opposite. So as I come through, if I come straight up and down and I don't get this leg bent, if it's more straight, I'm not going to get the explosion in the opposite direction. So after I go between the legs, uh, I want to drop down, getting this leg loaded so I can cross over opposite. From here, you want to read where the defender's at. It might be a push crossover over the top. It might be a low crossover, might be a cross step back. You just want to take what the defender ends up giving you. But the whole idea is we want to start slow uh, and then push into that crossover going the opposite direction. Get them sliding one way, move the opposite. All right, so for this drill, we're going to get three bait crossovers into a pull-up jump shot, just like James Harden gets a lot of times out of a step back. So we're going to start out by half court, and all we're going to do is we're going to go a slow bait crossover, and then we're going to line it up, bait crossover. So each time we're working on that change of direction, change of speed coming out of it. Once we get to the three-point line on that third one, we're going to load up and spring into that jump shot. Now you can work on different stuff here. You can work on a step back, you can work on a hesitation attack, you work on pretty much whatever you want to. We're probably just gonna shoot pull-ups on this one. But the whole idea is we're getting three good reps, working on the tempo and the timing, and then shooting off of that third one. It's a great way to work on that hand speed, work on that ball control, and work on really selling that bait on the crossover. I right, hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and hit that like button, and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. This is channel for the people, by the people, and we run pretty much everything off of requests. So leave it down below and hopefully we get to it. And if you're new to Shop Mechanics, number one, hit that subscribe button because we got a bunch of fire videos coming very shortly. And number two, you definitely want to click that link in the description down below and get a free copy of my Get Bucket Scoring Challenge. It's changing the way you're going to cha train your game and it's going to increase your scoring average if you get your reps in. So click that link down below and hopefully I'll see you there. Again, I'm Coach Colin with Castell with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.